We're at the Utah Community Credit Union Center on the campus of beautiful Utah Valley University. Tonight, the Wolverines are hosting the Golden Panthers of Florida International University and their Hall of Fame coach, Isaiah Thomas. It's coming up next on the Wolverine Sports Network. Swarbrick, his defender, hits the deck. Swarbrick jumps off the Hunsaker. Long three, got it! Jumper from way out top and bury the long two. It's basketball time in Utah Valley. Hosting the Golden Panthers of Florida International University and their Hall of Fame coach from Utah, where tonight the Wolverines of Utah Valley are playing host to the Golden Panthers of Florida International University. Hello again, everybody. Happy holidays to you. I'm Jim McCullough, also known around here as Jimmy Mack. This is Matt Peterson, also known as Matt Peterson. Matt, Florida International and UVU, they've already played once this year down in Miami. Florida International won that one by three. As a former player, a lot of revenge in these type games. Yeah, I think so. I think anytime you get the opportunity to play a team twice in the year and you lose to them the first time around, you don't want to have to live with that knowing that you lost to the same team twice in one year. So I definitely do think there is a little bit of revenge on the minds of the Wolverines tonight. 65-62 is the score down there. Wolverines on the short end. So let's talk about the keys to victory tonight for both of these teams, for UVU and for Florida International. Yeah, I think first for the Wolverines, they're going to have to do a better job of taking care of the basketball that they did last game. They had 19 turnovers against FIU the first time. Also going to have to do uh, a much better job of stopping the long scoring streaks. They were down by 17 at one point as well in that first game. And if you can do those two things, you're going to be in the game. The third key for the Wolverines will be to finish the game strong. That's definitely going to be a key for them. All right, let's talk about key matchups individually. Some good, pretty good players on both these teams tonight. Yeah, definitely. We've got Isaiah Williams for the Wolverines, who is the leading scorer, averaging about 16 points per game. As well, we have Martavis Key, who had 11 points in that first game. So that's going to be a key matchup, as well as Jordan Swarbrick uh, playing against a tough big man for Florida International, Eric Frederick, who leads them in scoring a little over 17. So during this game, those are going to be the key matchups we'll have to watch. Now, one thing we haven't talked about, we've got two pretty big name coaches on this floor tonight. Everybody knows about Dick Hunsaker. You play for him. Yeah, definitely. A great coach. Uh, he, he's going to have his team prepared to play. Uh, he is a wonderful coach. Not many people know about him and his coaching style here at UVU, but, you know, for me playing for him and those who are our loyal Wolverine fans, they know how he can coach. Coach Hunsaker in his ninth season here at Utah Valley. On the other side of the court, though, Isaiah Thomas, the Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, I don't know if we've had a, a more high profile coach or player come to now the UCCU Center here on campus. You know, obviously he coached in the NBA for many years and a great basketball player, a Hall of Famer. So it'll be great to see these two coaches go at it tonight. Should be fun. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more of our Costa Vida pregame show opening tip as well as the starting lineups coming your way right here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Utah Valley getting set to do battle against Florida International. They like to be called FIU. Hello again, everybody. Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. We're in the middle of our Costa Vida pregame show. Teams are out finishing up their pregame warm-ups. And we welcome our radio listeners. Time now for your starting lineups for both of these teams. First of all, for the Florida International University, Golden Panthers, 5-6 and six on the season. 0-4 oh on the road, though. They have started 11 different players throughout this young season. The only guy to start all 11 games, he's not here. He's stuck in New York, couldn't get here on a plane. 
That's Marvin Roberts. He's their fourth leading scorer, and I'm sure we'll talk about him during the game. So starting at guard, Phil Gary, 5'11", 160-pound senior from Chicago, averaging 8.7 a game. Dewan Wright gets to start the other guard spot. He's a 6'3", 177-pound junior from Detroit, Michigan, averaging 14.3 a game and 7.5 rebounds. Those 7.5 rebounds lead this young team. Starting at the third guard spot, Jeremy Allen, averaging 8.1. He's 6'4", 188-pound redshirt junior, from, also from Detroit. Starting at guard, they play four guards, averaging 11 points a game in just his fourth game of the season. 6'5", 206-pound senior from Detroit is Alex Legion, a transfer from Kentucky. You notice that Detroit flavor thing starting to kick hold there a little bit? Dominique Ferguson starts at forward. He's 6'9", 210-pound freshman out of Indianapolis, averaging 10 points a game. Three starters, Matt Peterson, from the Detroit area, Detroit proper, and they've got several other players on the team from the Detroit area. So you can say for Florida International University, hiring coach Isaiah Thomas has certainly paid off for recruiting early. Yeah, and, and it's got to be his influence. Who would want to go from Detroit to, down to Miami? <laughs> Quite a weather difference there. I don't, I yeah, don't know. Who would want to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think that it's definitely... Uh, it's definitely his influence and, and definitely his, his hold on that city. And pretty interesting. They sent their whole team all over the country to go home for Christmas. I mean, they've got guys from uh, Arkansas, from Georgia, a lot from Detroit, as we said, some from New York, uh, some from Oklahoma, Louisiana. They sent them all home for Christmas. Then they were supposed to meet here in Salt Lake on Sunday night and part of Monday. Well, guess what? When you send guys home to New York and you get blizzard conditions, one of their guys didn't make it. Marvin Roberts, who averages 10 and a half points a game, is not here. He was the leading rebounder in the game for Florida International in that first match of November 20th down in Miami when UVU went down and lost by three. We'll see if that has a factor. Starting lineups for the home standing Wolverines of Utah Valley. Five and seven overall, four and two at home. Isaiah Williams, one of the best guards in the West, starts at guard. He's the junior transfer from the College of Eastern Utah, originally from Chicago, Illinois, averaging 15.9 a game, coming off a career-high 26 points on uh, Thursday night at Portland State. Starting at point guard, Holton Hunsaker, six-foot guard, true freshman from North Salt Lake City, Utah, averaging 9.3 a game. Jordan Schwarbrick gets the start at the third guard position. He plays a lot of forward. Stands six foot seven. He's out of El Dorado, California, averaging 10.3 a game. Geddes Robinson is going to start inside, averaging 9.2 and a team high 7.8 rebounds a game. Geddes stands 6'5. He's a junior transfer from Western Nebraska, originally from the Bronx, New York. He did not go home for Christmas, so he is here. Ben Aird gets the start at center for the Wolverines, averaging 9.1 a game and uh, second on the team in rebounding, 6.4 a game. Starts at center. He's a true freshman as well from Bountiful, Utah, played at Bountiful High School. And those five, Williams, Hunsaker, Swarbrick, Robinson, and Aird have started all 13 games now for the Wolverines. Somewhat unusual, is it not, Matt Peterson, for the same guys to start all those games, especially when four of them had never played for the Wolverines before? Yeah, I, mean, I think it really is unusual. It'll be interesting to see how those players can react to this type of environment, see how they can get settled in in those, in those new roles, really. They're introducing the starting lineups here from both teams, particularly from UVU, they turn the lights out here. We mentioned earlier this is a simulcast. If you're driving around returning Christmas presents, you're listening to us on the radio. But if you're tuned in on UVU TV, you're watching this game live, and it will also be replayed a couple of times, I understand, and may even be up uh, on the Internet for you to find a little bit later. So we'll do this game mainly for our TV viewers, and our radio listeners can I'm sure keep track of what the heck's going on. Utah Valley coached by Dick Hunsaker in his ninth season here at UVU. Career record, 320 wins and just 167 losses. Here at UVU, though, he's 153 and 93. Meanwhile, on the other side of the court for Florida International University, they're coached, as we've mentioned already a couple times, by Isaiah Thomas, his second year with the Golden Panthers. He is 12 and 31 overall. He inherited a team down at FIU that had 
lost five or had five consecutive losing seasons before he got there. He's trying to turn those guys around and evidently going to bring most of the population of Detroit down with him. For our radio listeners, UVU be wearing their home whites, white jerseys, white trunks, trimmed in green. They'll be shooting camera left. Meanwhile, FIU, Florida International, counters with their traveling blues, blue jerseys, blue trunks, trimmed in gold. Yeah, it's the same Florida International that you watched the football team on Sunday night, I believe, win their first ever bowl game. So a lot of folks in the FIU department pretty excited athletic-wise down there. FIU controls the opening tip. We are underway here at the UCCU Center, Florida International and Utah Valley. That's Legion. Missed the first one, and UVU with the first rebound. The Wolverines come out there, that first possession in the zone. Interesting to see that. I don't think we were expecting Wolverines to play a zone defense this early on. Hunsaker with it for UVU. Up top to Swarbrick. Swarbrick only got 15 minutes against Portland State Thursday night. Aired wide open, free throw line, back rim too hard. Getty's tried to keep it alive, but it comes down to FIU's Alex Legion. Transfer from Kentucky. Gets it over to Phil Gary, jumper outside, buries the three. Florida International draws first blood, 3 0. Not a good sign there for the Wolverines in that zone defense, giving up two pretty wide open three point shots on the first two possessions. That's something when you go to a zone, you don't want to give up easy threes like that. Played just over a minute. Inside feed, Ben. Aaron missed the first one and tipped it in himself. Three to two. Big Ben aired six foot nine. Some folks are saying he's more like six foot seven. Or six foot ten, rather. Sorry, he had seven points. UVU on the run. Isaiah had it knocked away. It'll belong to the Wolverines. I think it's a good sign also on offense for the Wolverines that they're looking to get it inside. And Ben with the previous jump shot, last possession with a nice post up, gets the ball inside. Good to see the Wolverines looking to get it in early. That's Ben Aird out front to Isaiah. Pull up jumper, right side, good. Four to three, Wolverines. Played about a minute 45 here at the UCCU Center. Florida International basketball, shooting camera right. Legion's run a little point guard, pretty tall for a point guard. FIU misses the first one, buries the second one. It's another three. Back-to-back -back threes give Florida International the six to four lead. I think we had a double foul there. It looks like there was a foul on uh, number 33. Dominique Ferguson and also on Holden Hunsaker on going in for the uh, the rebound there. Looks like Florida International now putting a little bit of a full court pressure on here. I don't know, it doesn't look like a 2-2-1, looks more like a man press. Wolverines should be able to get the ball across pretty easily here. Wolverines had all sorts of trouble at Cincinnati earlier this season with the full court press, and I think any team that watched or gets a chance to look at tape of that game is going to say, all right, let's press these guys because they just Turned it over time after time, trying to bring it up. Swarbrick this time for three. Buries the right pass jumper. Seven to six, Wolverines. Great play there, run. Jordan Swarbrick working his way along the baseline. A nice, nice jump shot there for him. Good to get him started early also. Legion with it. He'll take a three. Good. Oh, my goodness. Threes. All they've hit so far. Florida International, three of five three-pointers so far here in the early going. It's nine to seven. Swarbrick with it. Stolen away, ball on the floor, kept alive. FIU on the run. Nice dish, layup, no good. Tip out by Ben Aird to Holton Hunsaker, and he's tripped. They'll call a little tripping foul against Florida International. That one's going to go against DeWan Wright. 
you know, Jim, when you get these opportunities off of those rebounds, it seems apparent that FIU looks like they're going to press. They're going to try and, as you said, you know, if they saw that tape against Cincinnati, they're going to try and press the Wolverines. So any opportunity that they get, they've got to push the ball, whether it's when they get in a, in a press situation or when they get the ball off of a turnover or a missed shot like that, they've got to get their transition game going to loosen up the pressure. Hotsaker picks up the Phil Gary foul. Gary, 5'11", senior from Chicago, trying to stay with the true freshman, Holden Hunsaker. Somewhat of a misnomer to call Hunsaker and Air true freshman. They're both returned missionaries, just got back over the summer. I guess technically you're a true freshman, but you're 21 years old, plus. A whistle underneath. Going to go against Florida International. Uh, my imagination, they call on this one pretty tight, partner. Yeah, it seems like they are here. And I, I think, you know, Holton there, he was setting a screen for Ben Aird to go from the wing down to the opposite post. And, you know, you can get that call. Holton set a good screen. Uh, you know, number 33 for FIU, Dominique Ferguson, picks up his second foul, has to come out of the game here. But good early screen there from Holton, getting the big man in trouble. Isaiah Williams with it, dishes off nicely to Gettys Robinson. Great assist from Isaiah. You know, as you said, they are calling a little bit tight, so what you want to do is to be aggressive. You, easy way to draw fouls, as we've seen Holton get in there, Jordan Swarbrick drive early, and Isaiah there as well. We're tied at nine, the three-point shot. My goodness, Alex Legion got the shooter's bounce. Front rim glass and then through. Just like that, it's 12 to nine. They've hit four three-pointers to start this game. And that's not why you go into a zone. You don't go into the zone to give up threes because they've proven them already. They can make those threes. Isaiah can nail a three right side. Bottom. There's your second Wolverine crossing three-pointer of the night. This one coming from Isaiah Williams. This game, you know, I, I thought it might turn into a free throw shooting competition like it did down in Miami, but. Not here in the early going, a steal. Isaiah on the run, one on two, takes it in, block from behind. It'll be Wolverine basketball. That time, Dewan Wright, sky high for that one. Timeout on the floor, 15 and a half minutes to play here, first half. We'll take it with them. We're tied at 12, Florida International in Utah Valley here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Fifteen and a half to play first half. A reminder, fans, Adidas is now the official outfitter of UVU Athletics. To check out Adidas apparel, go to adidas.com. I'm Jim McCullough, along with Matt Peterson, Florida International, and Utah Valley. Both have put up eight shots. UVU has made five of theirs. Florida International has made four of theirs. But all four of FIUs have been three-pointers. They're four of six. UVU is just a paltry two of two. My goodness, the threes are going to reign supreme tonight, evidently. Well, I think the stat reason why the Wolverines went into the zone on the year, they're shooting 30%. FIU is from the three-point line. They've proven that stat wrong so far. Swarbrick for three. Guess what? Bottom. His second Wolverine crossing three-pointer, and the Wolverines are out in front 15 to 12. You've got to be loving this if you're a perimeter shooter. As soon as you say that, they drive inside and get it knocked out of bounds. That was Dewan Wright. Had it slapped away, so it'll belong to FIU. 15-12, Wolverines up by three here in the early going. Into the game now, Eric Frederick. He's their leading scorer, but does not start. Had that one blocked from behind. 
think it was Ben Aird or Swarbrick, one of the two that got it. Wolverine basketball. Up top, Hunsaker. Swings it to the left side. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Swarbrick at the top of the key. Gives it over to Isaiah. He'll take the jumper right side and bury it. Isaiah Williams showing why he is probably going to be end up being one of the best players in the Great West Conference this season. Jumper outside the other way is good. That one coming from right. It was just a two. That's their first two of the game. Comes with about 14-20 to play here first half. 17-14, Wolverines up by three. Hunsaker, floater, good. Nineteen fourteen. here, we've played six minutes at the UCCU Center. It was a pretty low scoring game the first time these two met down in Miami, 65-62. Inside off the glass is good. That one coming from Dewan Wright. You know, you see there an offensive rebound by Jeremy Allen for FIU. I know that Coach Sensaker used to always preach to us, there's nothing that will kill a zone like offensive rebounds. And if the Wolverines continue to give up these offensive rebounds, they could be in trouble. Isaiah Williams misses the NBA three. Gettys Robinson back up. No. And he traveled first. Looked like he kind of got knocked off balance there a little bit. UVU's lead is three with 13-28 to play here first half. You know, with uh, Frederick coming in the game here, we talked about how he did not start. They shot a lot of outside threes. It'll be interesting to see if, if the Wolverines, you know, will force them to continue shooting those threes or if FIU can get the ball into Frederick a little bit here because he is our leading scorer and, and that zone might hurt his scoring in tonight's game. Gettys Robinson on the bench now, replaced by Justin Baker, makes his first appearance for the Wolverines. Long jumper out front by Wright, good. And we're tied at 19 with 13 minutes to play here, first half. You know, we've had a whole, off a whole lot of offense. I don't know as we see Isaiah with oh, another three. Word. Wow, Isaiah Williams nails another three. We might get to that 62-65 score here in the first half. <laughs> By halftime, you're right. It's 22 to 19 after that Wolverine crossing three-pointer. Once again, another offensive rebound given up. FIU, a nice job of after they shoot those long threes of crashing the glass. Inside feed and a whistle inside before Phil Gary can get anything going with the ball. That one's going to be called against Swarbrick. His first, team's second. 12 and a half minutes to play here, first half. It's 22-19, Wolverines by three. And maybe the most impressive stat of all, so far only one turnover. I'll make it two turnovers now for Utah Valley. Down in Miami, they had 19 for the game against FIU, including 10 in the first 10 minutes. That's when they dug themselves that 17-point deficit that they almost fought their way back from. Wow, inside move. Eric Frederick, strong kid. You know, and that was pretty good defense there from Justin Baker. He did a great job with the double team coming from Holden Hunsaker. Did a great job of making a shoot over the top. Just a great shot there from Frederick. 22-21, Wolverines lead is just one. Florida International knocked it out of bounds. So it'll be Wolverine basketball. They've still got 21 seconds on the shot clock to work with. Deadweiler's in the game now. Swarbrick getting a breather. Gettys Robinson back in. Ben Ayer takes a seat. There's Isaiah Williams again, lighting it up. Told you he had 26 career high Thursday night at Portland State. Looks like he's on track to top that. Wolverines come away with it. Three-point lead for Utah Valley right now. Hunsaker, free throw line, jumper good. 26-21, five-point lead is the biggest for either team. You know, great offense that the Wolverines are in. They seem to be getting inside shots that are quite easy. Nice array of jump shots and three-point shots as well. Inside move, right, no good. Foul on the rebound. Going to go against Gettys Robinson. 
And that brings us to another timeout on the floor. 11.20 to play here, first half. One heck of a first half so far, 26-21. Wolverines up by five. We'll take a break right back with Florida International and Utah Valley on the Wolverine Sports Network. Dr. John is a real UVU professor, not an actor. So to tell his story, we hired a UVU student. Knowledge-based edification increases executive functioning in the frontal lobes. Yo, dude, UVU is more than an education. It's a life experience. Exposure to enhanced pedagogical approaches promotes neural activity in the limbic system. For sick education, get here and strap in. UVU facilitates the discovery of your personal Weltanschauung. What? Dude, you don't know everything yet. Utah Valley University. It's your university. Weltanschauung! We'll see here a, a shot there and another offensive rebound. I know Coach Sunsaker used to always tell us that, Jim, that that's the hardest rebound to do in basketball. As you see number 14 there putting up the shot, Dewan Wright, great defense initially there from Eric Deer, or excuse me, from Sean Deadweiler. But uh, he did a nice job of getting that initial shot off and unfortunately, Sean Deadweiler unable to come up with the rebound there. 26-21 with 11.20 to play here first half. At the free throw line will be Dewan Wright following that foul for Florida International. First free throws of the game. Misses the front end of two. Now, I hate to keep harping back to that first game in Miami, but it was a pretty amazing game. 56 free throws in that game between the two teams. Tonight, just two. Second one went down, so it's 26-22. Wolverines lead by four here in the early going. Robinson having a little trouble near midcourt. Looking for help and hands it back over to the sure-handed Holton Hunsaker. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Hunsaker will take a long three. No good. And FIU with the rebound this time. That's Alex Legion, six foot five senior from Detroit. He didn't play in that first game. He's only been eligible the last couple of games. Transferred from Kentucky. Jumper instead from Frederick. And UVU's got it. Deadweiler gives it over to Hunsaker. Inside to Baker. Deadweiler, Baker, Hunsaker, Robinson, and there you go. Williams, back rim for three, no good. Rebound, FIU. You know, I've noticed something about the defense that FIU is playing, specifically on Holden Hunsaker and also on Isaiah Williams, is it's pretty good defense. It seems really, you know, playing them really tough as we see a turnover here and a foul. But uh, what I was trying to say about that, the defense that's been played is, I think a big factor in this game is going to be how Holden Hunsaker handles that pressure and how Isaiah Williams handles that pressure. See if they can get the Wolverines into the offense and get shots off of how tough the defense is, is playing them. Frederick picks up that foul for Florida International, his first. Swarbrick now into the game. Swarbrick, Deadweiler, Baker, Williams, and Ben Aird, who's back on See, the floor right now. Sorry, now we see Sean Deadweiler handing it. Look how tough he's being played all the way out to the half court line. The Wolverines can break it like they did there with Jordan Swarbrick. That's what you have to do. You have to attack the basket when you're being pressured. 28-22. Wolverines by six with 9.42 to play first half. Well, you had mentioned it, partner, in the pregame show that the Wolverines really needed to avoid one of those FIU big runs where they score, you know, 10, 12, 15 straight points. So far, so good. Yeah, they haven't had a problem with that. I think that they've, they've done a good job other than giving up all of the threes that they have. FIU currently five for nine from the three-point line. So I think if they can sustain this defense that they have, whether it's a zone or whether they go to a man, that's only going to benefit them throughout the game because FIU can't go on those long runs. Frederick misses that free throw. Florida International team shoots 68% from the charity stripe as a team. 
Frederick, a 64% free throw shooter. So it remains 28-22. Frederick has another one coming up. And I think the Wolverines have settled in on defense. They've kind of understood once they, they got shocked there initially with all of those three-point jump shots, they have settled in in that zone defense. 28-23. Frederick has three points unofficially. Swarbrick is just lighting it up. Goodness gracious. Jordan Swarbrick now, 11 points unofficially on another Wolverine crossing three-pointer. I think Jordan didn't appreciate just getting to play 15 minutes on Thursday night, and he's got something to prove tonight. Inside feed stolen away. Wolverines come up with another turnover. And you can credit Sean Deadweller on that last play, how easily he broke the pressure, got right into the middle of the lane, and a beautiful kick out to Shorebrick. They're going to say now it was a long two, not a three from Shorebrick, so it's 30 to 23. Ball on the floor. Florida International will retain possession. Isaiah Williams plays so hard, it's rare for him to finish a game and not be limping. I've seen him on the road. When we get on the team bus afterwards, I join them for the ride back to the hotel. He's usually got ice packs all over knees and ankles and everything. Well, you know, you can, d you can definitely see how hard he plays. He's not afraid to show all the skills, whether it's going into the pain or shooting jump shots. Again, the longest two you can imagine. This one coming on a rainbow shot from Holton Hunsaker. 32-23, Wolverines lead by nine, coming up on eight and a half minutes left in this first half. Biggest lead of the night for the Wolverines here at nine. Florida International jumper left side, Rashad Pack for three. He's fouled. That one gonna get called on Justin Baker. His second. Team's fifth, both teams with five fouls apiece. You know, it's pretty evident that the offense that FIU is running is designed to kind of spread the Wolverines out on that zone as we see there for the long three-point shot that came from the corner. It was very difficult for Justin Baker playing on the low block in the zone to get out to that corner. And he unfortunately did not get enough shot pressure out there and came up with the foul. But FIU is looking to spread the court and to get whether it's a, an inside pass and then a kick out or just even working it around the three-point line to get their shots and to get their offense going. Pack has the first two down, his third free throw on its way. No good, and Ben aired with the rebound for UVU. So it's 32-25 now. Wolverines lead is seven with 8.20 to play until intermission. Swarbrick's got the hot hand. Already in double figures with 10. Isaiah leads the attack with 12. Hunsaker looking to join him. Thought about it. Instead gives over to Ben. Nice jump hook. Wow. This team is playing so much better than they did Thursday against Portland State. It's amazing. Yeah, that's great offense. You get the ball into Ben Aird. You continue movement around the perimeter. Holton gets it, improves his passing angle inside, and makes a great, a great pass into Ben Aird with the finish. I mean, that's, that's wonderful offense. Speaking of Ben Aird, he gets called for the reach-in foul. It brings us to another media timeout. 7.47 to play here, first half. Wolverines lead it by nine, 34-25. You're listening and watching. Utah Valley Basketball on the Wolverine Sports Network. We meet here once a week. It's a chance to discuss mostly. I've always been like super concerned about saving money, right? Mm -hmm. But like I really wanted like a good education too. I guess I really got green fever when like I found out how Utah mm -hmm. Valley University can get me both. We have our regulars and of course there are always our new ones every time. I'm Steve. Hi, Hi Steve. Steve. This is my first week here. Uh, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, this whole green fever thing's kind of just started for me. So. More and more people want to know about green fever. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU!
34-25, Wolverines lead by nine with 7.47 to play. A reminder, fans, the UVU Alumni Association proud to sponsor Player of the Game tonight. You think that guy's been Player of the Game a few times, Isaiah Thomas? You can support UVU scholarships by ordering a UVU license plate online at uvualumni.org slash UVU plate. Hall of Fame coach Isaiah Thomas going up against maybe a guy who's headed for his own coaching accolades when his career's done. Dick Hunsaker. Missed shot, gives UVU the basketball. They lead it 34-25, 7.37 to play. Swarbrick wide open, drives in, went for the slam and was fouled by Wright. Those are the type of plays you can get hurt on. Yeah, great hustle there from number 14 for FIU, Dewan Wright. But what I like about that play, Jim, is Jordan had a wide open three-point shot. You know, on the game, he's two for two. He had a wide open three-point shot that he could have easily taken. But he saw the, the nice, clear path to the, to the basket and attack that way. I think it's good to see that he's not settling for that outside jumper, even though he's made two tonight already. Swarbrick nails the first free throw. He is the best free throw shooter on the team at 90%. He's now hit 28 of 31 this season. And I'm told every time he makes a free throw, we should, well, if he makes this one, I'll tell you. We should refer to him by his real name. Second one is good from Hugo Wombaugh. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm just told, call him Hugo Wombaugh, and he may never miss again. That's interesting. I lived with Jordan for a little bit. I, I've never heard that before. Oh, so. no. Maybe I'm, <laughs> maybe I'm telling secrets I shouldn't tell. 36-25, Wolverines lead is 11. It's their biggest lead of this first half. Inside, getting pretty physical. Wolverines come away with it, though. Coming up on seven minutes left here, first half. Wolverines just shooting a blistering 71% in this first half. 15 of 21. The team that came in here shooting just 42% uh, on the season. Geddes adds to that percentage. You know, Geddes has an incredible ability to post up. I mean, he's not the biggest guy in the world, but when he gets that ball, he is incredibly gifted at getting his own shot and making and creating space for himself. Three-point attempt the other way from Legion. No good. Swarbrick with the weak side rebound for UVU. Wolverine sort of. I know this is early, and I don't want to say it too early, but they're making this look easier than a lot of folks thought it was going to be. I mean, this FIU team took them to the woodshed in the first half down in Miami. Swarbrick misses that one. FIU rebound. Sort of misdirected in the air on that one a little bit. Feed is inside. Working is Brandon Moore. Shot no good. Ben aired with the rebound. Just under six minutes to play here. First half. Swarbrick for three. There, there. There's Hugo Wamba again with a Wolverine crossing three-pointer. That one is a three. It's 41-25. And Coach Isaiah Thomas has seen enough for the moment. He calls a timeout. We'll keep this one here. 5.49 to play, first half, 41-25. Your analysis partner, what the heck is going on? Well, I think they, they've shown a number of different areas in which they can score. They've shown that they can score in transition. They've shown that they can score from the three-point line. They've shown mid-range jump shots. They've shown post moves. They've shown out-of-bounds plays that they can score off of. I think that they just have a great rhythm going on right now. You know, 41 points, we still have about six minutes left. I think that the pressure that FIU is putting on the Wolverines is helping the Wolverines because it's it's getting them to be a little bit more aggressive than they may have been in the past. And so, uh, you know, maybe FIU is going to change up their defense here a little bit. But I, I just think that the Wolverines are showing that the number of different ways in which they can score and they're being extremely successful so far in doing it. It's a 9 nothing run and a 13-2 run. Both those runs are concurrent here for UVU. And I'll say this too, I, I don't remember the last time FIU scored. They've been at 25 or in the 20s for about, I would say, six or seven minutes. It, it's been a while since they've scored, so that'll also help your offensive numbers if you can get defensive stops. Yeah, they've put up 21 shots and made just eight. It's good for 38%. Baseline jumper this time, no good again. That one coming from Phil Gary and rebound comes down to the Wolverines. Wolverine still at 70% shooting. They put up 24 shots and made 17 of them. 
Both teams have hit five three-pointers. Most of those were in the first, what, three or four minutes, it seemed like. And I don't think the Wolverines have taken a bad shot. I don't think they've forced any shots. They're just working their offense until they get a great shot. Slapped away out of bounds. Phil Gary almost joined us here at courtside. Clock stopped just a tick over five minutes left in this first half. 41-25, Wolverines by 16 points. What a re reversal from that first game in Miami where they trailed by 17 in the first half. Scoop shot, Isaiah, no good. I think he's better from three-point land than he is from two feet away. You know, he has an incredible ability to get into the paint, and he's shown that so far this game. Another missed shot from Florida International. That one from Jeremy Allen. Here comes Hunsaker in the lane, in traffic. Forced that one up. FIU comes away with it. Now they're on the run. Russell outside. Up top it goes to Gary. Right side jumper from Jeremy Allen. And finally, they stop a 9-0 run that UVU was on with that three-pointer. And we just talked about how the Wolverines haven't taken a bad shot, how they haven't forced anything, as you said, uh, Holton forced that shot a little bit there. And you see what happens when you force a shot and you get a shot that's not in your rhythm, FIU, with the counterattack in the three-point basket. You know, it's a five-point swing there because of the bad shot taken. 41-28, just uh, under four minutes to play here till the break. Ball on the floor, picked up by FIU. Florida International on the run, taking it to the hole. Shot layup good from Tremaine Russell. And immediately Coach Dick Hunsager up, and boy, he is not happy about something. Yeah, I think what happens is you get those turnovers. You're playing so well, and you get this rhythm on your offense that we've been talking about, and then you have two unfortunate plays, two forced plays there, and the rhythm switches over to FIU. I, I think those turnovers are what really hurt your team in these situations when the Wolverines had great rhythm and had a great run going. Gives us a chance to tell you fans about Pepsi being a proud major sponsor of Utah Valley University Athletics. Pepsi, every generation refreshes the world. 346 to play first half. It's 41 to 30. Wolverines up by 11. They have led this first half by as many as 16. They did trail. The last time they trailed it was 12 to 9. They tied it up at 12 and then jumped out quickly to five point lead. So one of our keys in the pregame was finish strong. And I had mentioned and, and spoken about how finishing strong means, you know, generally we think of it at the end of the game. But I think that in this instance, we can apply that to the end of the first half. We, Wolverines need to, to do a better job of finishing strong in the last four minutes here to keep this lead that they have. Yeah, absolutely. You were not able to make the trip down when we played uh, University of Missouri at Kansas City right before the game before Cincinnati. At the UMKC, the Wolverines went 11 and a half minutes without scoring. Four minutes of the first half and then seven minutes of the second half. It was a long drought. Both teams missing. Wolverine basketball. You know, on that last possession, Jim, I, I, it was the first that I had noticed. FIU went into a zone. It looks like they're going... It looks like they're maybe back into a man. Inside feed, Justin Baker fighting his way through traffic, tied up. Uh, they'll say he drug a pivot footer. Travel is a call, brings us to a timeout on the floor. Three minutes to play, it's 41-30. Wolverines by 11. We'll take a 60 second break here on the Wolverine Sports Network. I never used to care about college sports. I mean, I go to a game or two, but it's mainly for social reasons, you know? But now things are different. And how has green fever affected your school spirit? Are you kidding me? I never miss a sporting event, home or away. You got NCAA baseball, softball, basketball, cross country, golf, track and field, wrestling, soccer, volleyball. I'm keeping stats. I'm memorizing stats. I'm memorizing numbers. I'm dreaming about numbers. I'm dreaming about Wolverines. I just bought a pet Wolverine. It tore my dad's favorite chair. It was wicked awesome. And how does that make you feel? Oh. I guess it's, it's pretty cool. Me? No, I, I don't play sports. I wouldn't want to make the athletes envious. I don't mess around, man.
41-30. Wolverines out by 11. Fans, you can remember that La Quinta Inn and Suites and the special UVU discounted rate and always wake up on the bright side. Right now, the Wolverines are shooting on the bright side, 63% here in this first half. Compare that to Florida International's just 38% shooting. Turnovers, we told you in the pregame show, were just a key for the Wolverines to avoid. Only four so far here in this first half. Just under three minutes to play. Florida International basketball. Shooting camera right. It's Gary drives in, dishes off, shot good. Inside from Jeremy Allen. Yeah, that was a nice play there from FIU. It looks like that was a, a design play against the zone where one of their perimeter players drives into the middle of the paint and they have Jeremy Allen, as you said, sneaking in behind for the easy layup. A nice play there designed by FIU. After the Wolverines had run off nine straight, Florida International now on a 7 nothing run. Two and a half minutes to play here in this first half. Wolverines by nine, 41-32. Swarbrick hanging jumper, good. Swarbrick's got 17 points unofficially. Men on a mission tonight. Nice article in today's Provo Daily Herald about, about Jordan Schwarbrick. You get a chance to go online at the Provo Daily Herald's website. Just uh, click on the sports section. His smiling picture will come up with a very nice article. Wolverine basketball, we're under two minutes to play now. First half, 43-32, Wolverines by 11. Led by as many as 16. Hunziger over to Baker, left side to Swarbrick. Inside feed, Ben Aird. Slapped away from behind, and the ball hit the baseline. So it'll belong to the Wolverines with 13 seconds on the shot clock. Something I don't think we've seen yet so far when Ben Aird got that ball in the post, he was immediately double teamed. From now on, he's got to be aware that he could be double teamed as well as Justin Baker if he gets the ball in the post. Uh, it looks like FIU's not going to allow easy posts in the paint. Isaiah takes the jumper on the inbounds play. It's a long two. Well, that's within his range. He likes the three. He'll take the two. Yeah, second nice inbound <laughs> play that we have seen. Great screens being set, leading two. Uh, nice shot there from Isaiah Williams. Inside feed is good. 45-34, Wolverines by 11 again with a minute 14 to play. Hunsaker working against Phil Gary. Working left side, now inside to Aird. Outside to Swarbrick. Coming up on a minute left here, first half. Isaiah wasn't open, gives it to Swarbrick, who is, and buries the Wolverine cross at three. It's 48-34. Jordan Swarbrick, unofficially now, 17 points. They may just update that for us here in a second. 48-34. 36 seconds left in this first half. Yeah, they do. He's got 20. 20 points for the senior out of El Dorado, California. I should have called him Hugo Wamba several games ago. <laughs> you Holy know, cow. I, I, he only averages 10 points a game. He's got 20 in the first half. Yeah, he's, he's played incredible tonight, and I think you have to give some credit to Holton Hunsaker and Isaiah Williams. Holton with six assists, Isaiah with two. With that pressure that we've talked about FIU putting on, Holton and Isaiah have done a great job of creating offense and enabling them to kick out to open players such as Jordan Swarbrick. Swarbrick, 20 points, two assists, a block, and a rebound. Hunsaker fouled on his way to the hole by Dewan Wright. Clock stopped with 10 seconds to play, first half. 48-34, Wolverines up by 14. Swarbrick with 20, Isaiah Williams with 14. Yeah, we'll see Holton there coming off a nice screen when you, when, you know, I hate to talk about it so much, but when you get that pressure that looks like FIU is trying to put on, how you can mitigate that if you're an offensive player is by back cutting, by moving, you know, making really quick cuts and coming off screens really hard. And the Wolverines have done a great job there as we see Holton making that curl off of the screen and nice pass there from Isaiah to get Holton at the free throw line. His first two free throws of the night buries them both. Wolverines now out in front, 50 to 34. This is a Wolverine team that averages just 70 points a game. They've got 50 here with 10 seconds left in the first half. They had 62 in Miami against this team. 
So I'm guessing they'll have more than 12 in the second half. Nice block. Who got that one? Was that Baker or Swarbrick? I think it was uh, Swarbrick came from, you know, looked like his man got inside of him. He came from behind with a nice two-hand block there, it looked like. See if the Wolverines can close out strong here without giving up a, a bucket off the inbound play. Two and a half seconds. Legion will take the jumper and bury the long three as we head to the locker room. It's still a 13-point lead for the Wolverines, 50 to 37. One very impressive first half especially for George Swarbrick, who's got 20 points at halftime. Isaiah Williams has got 14. Holton Hunsaker, 8. Geddes Robinson, 4. Ben Aird's got 4. Wolverine shot 67% in that first half and held FIU to 41% shooting in that first half. We'll take a break. Back with your halftime show. You're listening and watching exclusive coverage of the Utah Valley University basketball team on the Wolverine Sports Network. College of Technology and Computing, also known as TNC, we don't spend a lot of time bragging, but I guess we could. We could brag about having one of the top three aviation programs in the entire country, turning out professional pilots and administrative personnel to work for airlines and private industry. Or we could brag about our national award-winning culinary arts program, with graduates who are going straight to glamorous jobs on cruise ships and in major restaurants, or who are opening their own restaurants. Or we could brag about our digital media students who are winning major awards even before they graduate. Or we could brag about our international efforts, sending TNC students all over the world, places like Mali and Russia and Namibia. Or we could brag about our computer science department or our information systems and technology department as they continue to train some of the best and sharpest young minds in the state of Utah using state-of-the-art technology in classrooms and computer labs. Or we could brag about our technology management program where students are always engaged in life-changing projects like using technology to assist those with disabilities. Or I guess we could brag about the fact that many of the CSI investigators and fire and rescue personnel in the state of Utah have gone through extensive training in our public services programs. Or I guess we could brag about our world land speed record car that was completely built and erased out of our highly acclaimed automotive department. Or we could brag about our high-tech electrical automation and robotic technology and mechatronics programs. Or our engineering graphics and design program which is turning out some of the most advanced technicians in the state of Utah. Or we could brag about our construction technology students who helped build Habitat for Humanity Homes and just won first place at the National Association of Home Builders competition in Las Vegas. That's first place in the entire nation. Or we could brag about TNC students leading UVU to a first, second, or third place finish in the nation for 10 straight years at the National Skills USA competition. Or we could brag about the fact that many companies are discovering that when they hire our graduates, they get somebody who doesn't just know facts. They get a TNC graduate who has actually done it before. And that's because our TNC students are engaged, truly engaged, and actually doing things rather than just learning facts. So, even though there is a lot to brag about here at the College of Technology and Computing, we really don't like to brag much. about going to college and getting a head start on the process? Come get a feel for what university life is like. UVU Days are designed with you in mind. UVU Days are department-specific events held on Saturdays that will allow you to become a student for a day. These events are free and breakfast and lunch are served. It's a great opportunity to meet your future dean, professors, and advisors. Highlighted programs include business, science and health, education, humanities, aviation, dance, theater, and emergency service. 
For more information, dates, and times, please visit our website at www.uvu.edu forward slash future students. Come experience what UVU has to offer in your field of study. everything about UVU. I really do. It's a fantastic place. I feel like I've grown as an artist, as a student, as a human being. As someone from a different state who was trying to find a dance school, it was very, very hard. And I happened to come by UVU by chance, actually. It's a great school. It teaches you history, rhythm, music, choreography, improv, dance. It even has a major in ballroom dance. When I think of UVU's School of the Arts program, I think of opportunity that I wouldn't get anywhere else outside of the classroom. I feel like I know my professors. I feel like they're interested in my learning process. The, the professors here have just been really, really personable very, very willing to go out of their way to meet with me, to talk with me, offer advice, counsel, and, and just overall, they just believe that what you're doing here matters. And that's what I love. enjoy outdoors in the state of Utah. Whether you want a spring, summer, fall, or winter adventure, the OAC has you covered. Backpacking, winter camping, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, backcountry snowboarding and skiing, rafting, kayaking, rock climbing, mountain biking, and hiking. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League Sports Passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! just 45 minutes south of Salt Lake City, UVU is located at the foot of the scenic Wasatch Mountains in Orem, Utah. Within 20 miles of campus, students enjoy access to year-round outdoor recreation. Utah Valley is also home to a vibrant local arts and music scene. Many students choose UVU for access to a dynamic economy, employment, and career opportunities. Seven. Wolverines lead it by 13. We're at halftime at the UCCU Center. Very impressive first half of action, uh, especially by Jordan Swarbrick, the senior out of El Dorado, California. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim McCullough. This big guy's Matt Peterson. He played here. I just get to watch, but I don't know. Did you ever score 20 points in the first half, Matt? No, I never did. So it's it's a pretty incredible accomplishment. You know, you could have lied about yeah, that I, and I, said, yeah. I wouldn't feel good about that. So, <laughs> no, I, I never have. So, I mean, it's, it's great to see, you know, seven of eight from the field for Jordan, four of four from the three-point line, two of two from the free throw line. I mean, he's got the two assists, one turnover, two blocks. He, he's just filling up the stat sheet. He has a, he's had an incredible first half. And as we've said, he hasn't forced anything. It, it looks natural out there. He's not trying to do more than he should, which has contributed to how, how successful he's been in the first half. I mentioned in our pregame show that Swarbrick on Thursday night at Portland State only got 15 minutes of playing time. This is for a senior starter now who's used to playing, you know, in the 30 minute range, 30 to 38 minutes per game. Uh, he was in the doghouse for something. I don't even know and probably really don't want to know, but he only got 15 minutes of playing time 
didn't score many points. In fact, uh, Swerbrick, 11 points. And so uh, he's come out with a vengeance tonight. 20 points in the first half. That ties a season high. He had 20 against Oregon State at their place. His career high is 30. Were you aware when you played what your career high was and what you had at halftime and all that sort of stuff? Did you no, play for stats? No, you don't play for stats. I think what, what you play is to sort of his confidence level almost right now. You know, he, he feels like he, the, the basket is probably like a hula hoop out there for him, and he's got great confidence. So uh, what I want to see coming out of the second half, that he doesn't lose his energy that he's played with so far, and I think that can go across the board for the whole team. You don't want to see them have any let up uh, energy wise focus wise anything along those lines and uh, and they'll continue to be successful here yeah before we take our final commercial break I just want to update the stats uh, officially for our TV viewers Swarbrick we were talking about had 20 points in the first half seven of eight shooting three of three from beyond the arc uh, Gettys Robinson with four at halftime Ben aired with four Isaiah Williams team's leading scorer coming in here well, he had a pretty good first half, too. 14 points in that first half in 17 minutes of action. He's just overshadowed by Jordan Swarbrick. Holton Hunsaker with eight points. Deadweiler and Baker both played, did not score. Meanwhile, for Florida International, they're led by Alex Legion's 12. Dewan Wright's got 10. It was a heck of a first half. I don't know if they can keep up 67% shooting for the whole game, though. Uh, Wolverines put up 30 shots and made 20. That's a pretty hot first half. This is for a team that came in here shooting 42% on the season so home sweet home yeah we, we didn't even talk about Isaiah Williams in, you know, <laughs> know. Any, any other game 14 points in the first half would be incredible with with the how he shot the ball how he's played defensively I, I think that's been incredible so you can't rely on your offense to do 67 percent again in the second half but what you can rely on is your defense uh, interesting the Wolverines will probably play that zone the rest of the game so you can always rely on your defense to keep you in these games and keep this lead that they have currently 50-37, we're at halftime here at the UCCU Center. Wolverines looking really good. We're going to take a two-minute break, stations. Two-minute break, and we'll be back with your second half of action. Wolverines out in front right now, Florida International University. You're watching and listening to, you, to Wolverine basketball on the Wolverine Sports Network. The goal of student employment at UVU is to provide quality, professional, and meaningful work experience for students while supporting their overall success at Utah Valley University. The UVU Student Employment Office is dedicated to serving students with a variety of meaningful work opportunities as a part of their university experience. Jobs are accessed through the UV Job Board. Positions include hourly on and off campus jobs, internships, federal work study, and the International Student Employment Program. Some of the services we provide are career assessment, internships, and job shadowing. We also offer mentoring services and interviewing skills, cover letters, networking skills, and job searching skills. The Student Employment Office hosts on-campus graduate school fairs, recruiting fairs, and job fairs in the fall and spring. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! Fifty thirty seven Wolverines out in front by 13 at halftime. Wolverines will be back in action on the road on Friday as they travel to northern Illinois yeah, Friday New Year's Eve. That's an afternoon game 12 o'clock tip Mountain Standard Time. Right now they're out in front 50 37. Head coach Isaiah Thomas just uh, I don't know what you would say to your team at halftime when you blew them out down at your place by 17 in the first half and then you come up here and you rolls are reversed you see your Golden Panthers go down to 16 Isaiah Thomas Hall of Fame coach back to back NBA titles he was one of the bad boys remember them Matt yep Dennis Rodman Bill Lambeer Lambeer yeah 
John Sally, I think, was on that team. Oh, yeah. I believe Chuck Daly was the head coach. And we're not talking about a bad boy here. Yeah. So Dick Hunsaker, one of the good guys. A couple of other scores for Great West uh, Conference teams. I promised to pass along New Jersey Institute of Technology over Long Island 82, or excuse me, they lost to Long Island 89 82. South Dakota did beat Midland University 93 69, and TCU over Chicago State this evening 99 72. Here it's 50 to 37. UVU played perhaps one of their best first halves in a long, long time. Definitely best of this season. Wolverines came in here five and seven overall, four and two at home. They love playing at home. And you couple that with the fact that Florida International hates to play on the road. They are 0 and 4 on the road and looking every bit confused. Why is it some teams just play so badly on the road, man? I don't know. I think a lot of it is the comforts of playing at home. You get used to that. It, it does take a certain toughness and a, ter a certain mental attitude towards playing on the road. I I know that uh, when I played, Coach Senseka would always talk about how uh, he loved players who would play better, whose maybe statistics or just their overall playing was better on the road because that's a sign of their toughness. So. You know the fact that FIU is 0-4 on the Wolverine or, uh, on the road is a good sign for the Wolverines. And you know, being down 13 here, we'll see what adjustments they made at halftime. See how they come out. See if they uh, you know, approach things differently here to get themselves and see if they can get that first win on the road. In that first half, you're talking about Utah Valley only played two bench players. Sean Deadweiler saw six minutes of action, and Justin Baker saw nine minutes of action. UVU will start same five second half. They started the first half. Swarbrick, Hunsaker, Robinson, Williams, and Ayer. 50-37. Wolverines by 13. Now they're shooting camera right. Isaiah fouled on the jumper on the baseline. So he'll shoot two. That one's going to go against Jeremy Allen. You know, a design play there coming out of halftime, looking to get the ball inside to Ben Air, Jordan Swarbrick was going to be the man to, to pass it in or looking to get it inside and kind of a frantic little play there but Isaiah comes up with the ball and ends up at the free throw line. His first trip to the stripe nails the first one UBU now five of five overall from the stripe Swarbrick's two of two Hunsaker two of two and Isaiah one of one now. Second one also good. You and I were talking, Jim, incredible stat about Isaiah is he played 14 minutes in the very first game against Maine, didn't score a basket. So ever since then, he has been on an offensive tear for the Wolverines and continuing tonight with 16. Yeah, your team's leading scorer did not score the first game of the season. That's pretty amazing when you're only hey, hey. into your, what, 13th game now. Wolverine basketball following that miss, 52-37. Aired with it way out front over the Hunsaker. It hasn't been flawless, and I'm sure if you ask Coach Dick Hunsaker, they haven't played a perfect game, but they played a pretty doggone good game to this point. On both ends of the court, not just offensively, what we talk so much about, but defensively, too. Isaiah with it. Less than 10 to shoot, hanging. Ah. Jumper, no good. Gettys with the rebound, back up and in. He is so strong inside. You see what I was saying about being able to create space for himself as we'll see a traveling violation on Phil Gary here right in front of us. But you know, Gettys has incredible ability that once he gets that ball, he can take his time. You see him put the ball on that last play. He dribbled the basketball, moved over to the right a little bit, created that space, and was able to go up. Swarbrick will trigger right in front of us here courtside. Played about a minute of the second half. It's 54-37, rather. Wolverines out in front by 17. This is their biggest lead of the ball game. Swarbrick with it. Driving. Couldn't get it off his hip because he was held by Dewan Wright. So Jordan Swarbrick will be at the free throw line. And dare we say it. Hugo going to the stripe. Fifty-four thirty-seven. Eighteen thirty-nine to play. Wolverine score the first five coming out of the gate of the second half. It's fifty-five thirty-seven now. 
Eric Frederick checking in for FIU. We talked a little bit about him at halftime and even in the pregame, how it's going to be a key matchup for the Wolverines. You know, he's the leading scorer on the year, averaging 17 points. Super, huh. Superman missed a free throw, by the way. I forgot to call him Hugo Wamba. You jinxed him. Yeah, I jinxed him. Wolverines had it, turned it over. Here comes Frederick. Runs right over Holton Hunsaker, and they'll call Hunsaker for the block. Holton not scared to take a charge, I tell you that. Well, all, all six foot tall of him. No better time than that as we see the replay here. When you see a big man that's like Frederick is there dribbling down the court, you have to know he's going right to the rim. So Holton did a good job of being aware of that, tried to step in. Unfortunately, just a little bit late, and uh, three-point play is good. But when you see a big man dribbling the ball down the court, that's when you try <laughs> and take that charge. Uh-oh, Wolverines. Getting a little sloppy with it. Phil Gary got it to go, and he drew the foul from Swarbrick. 55-42. Wolverines out by 13, 18-23 to play. Back-to-back -back killer turnovers here with just a silly mistake on the inbounds pass there. Wolverines can't lose their focus. Now it's a 12-point game, as well as the Wolverines have played. Two turnovers leading to six points, and, and FIU is going to get a little bit of momentum here, and we'll see if, see if they'll be able to convert on, on this momentum that they have. After the Wolverines have pushed it out to an 18-point lead, FIU has scored six straight. Now they'll call the foul against Holton Hunsaker. The early going in the first half, they called it really tight. Seemed like they loosened up. Second half starting the same way. Yeah, and, and I like the approach of the Wolverines. You have to do what they did earlier on in the game is continue to attack the basket and see if they can get those easy buckets inside as we see them get it into Geddes Robinson here. Jumper out front from Swarbrick. Missed it. Rebound fought for. Goes off a Wolverine player. Will belong to FIU. Starting five still on the court for the Wolverines. We played two minutes here in the second half. And as soon as we say that, Deadweiler <laughs> replaces Holton Unsaker. Deadweiler, Williams, Ayers, Swarbrick, and Robinson. Wolverines still in that zone. They've done a good job. Just have to make sure they get out to the three-point shooters. Another three-pointer from the right side. It's a 9-0 run for Florida International. Wolverines lead is down to 55 46 with 17 and a half minutes to play in this game. Deadweiler over to Williams. Isaiah drives, shot, no, he's fouled. And we're going to go against Cameron Bell, I believe. We'll see the drive here from Isaiah. You know, he has great quickness off of the dribble and could get his defender in a position where he has to foul there as we see. So a nice job. I think that Isaiah can, can get his shot on, on these defenders just about any time he has the ability to create from the perimeter driving in. So we'll see if it, he'll continue to look to capitalize on his quickness and his ability to get to the free throw line. Isaiah 17 points now as he makes the front end, and that stops that 9 nothing run that Florida International was on. Second free throw, rattles and drops through good. 57-46, Wolverines by 11. We had talked several times that it seems like every game, one of the Wolverine starters will have a pretty good game. Rarely do two or more of them have good games at the same time. Tonight, though, Swarbrick having a great game and Isaiah just having his usual oh, ho-hum 18 points. Feed inside from Florida International. 58, excuse me, 57-48. Wolverine lead is just nine again. Deadweiler drives, shot, no. Rebound, Florida International. Legion has it. Goes around Swarbrick, layup good. Coach Isaiah Thomas made some adjustments at halftime because this Golden Panther team has come out and they look a lot different in the second half. 57-50, it's just a seven-point lead. Just a couple of minutes ago, Wolverines led by 18. Timeout on the floor gives us a chance to tell you that the Utah Army National Guard is the official sponsor of the UVU Athletics Pink with a Purpose Games, raising money for people in need. Matt Peterson, what is it they're doing different? 
Well, it seems to me like they've lost a little bit of their focus when it comes to defense. I mean, FIU has come out here and scored 13 points in under four minutes. So defensively, I think that's where it's, it's let them down a little bit. You have to give credit to Alex Legion. He's five of eight from the three-point line, six of nine from the field, has 17 points. He's come out and played very aggressively here in the second half. But I think it's, you know, that where the Wolverines had those two quick turnovers and gave up those six points to give them that, the spurt in the beginning to that 9-0 run that they had. It's all about your mentality and it's all about your focus. I think they've got the energy. They just have to play smarter than what they've done so far. Wolverines one of four shooting here in the first uh, three minutes and 18 seconds of the second half. You know, the FIU, they're not going to let up. Once they've got themselves back in this game to seven points, they're not going to let up on this full court pressure that they have because they've seen that they can cause problems for the Wolverines. So here, Wolverines have to attack. They've got to keep their energy up. They've got to look to attack the basket and get that pressure and loosen up that pressure on their offense. Wolverines by just seven here in the second half. 16 and a half minutes to play. Swarbrick with 21 points drives in, shot blocked, but put back up and in by Gettys Robinson. There's the aggressiveness going to the basket that we've that we've seen. That's what's going to help them. 59-50. Gettys a very quiet six points himself. Ah! Side shot blocked from behind. Ben Aird got that one, I believe, as Frederick ran up with it. Out of bounds, it will belong to FIU underneath their glass. You know, with as well as Alex Legion's been playing, you have to start paying attention now to Eric Frederick because these are leading scorers. We see another <laughs> wide open three point shot from Alex Legion. Missed that one. Ben Aird pulled down the rebound. True freshman from Bountiful. 59 50, Wolverines by nine. We're under 16 minutes to play in this game. Last time the Wolverines trailed, it was 12 to nine. Swarbrick up top, it goes to Aird, looking for help. Goes left side to Swarbrick. Eight seconds to shoot. Starts to drive with three seconds left. Wide open jumper, missed it. On the floor, picked up Florida International. Legion has it, dishes off for the long three left side, good. It's a six point Wolverine lead. 59-53 with 15 minutes, 10 seconds to play. Wolverines just seemingly couldn't miss in the first half. Second half, different story. Turnover, Florida International, showtime the other way. Ferguson puts it down. Wolverines just getting sloppy now. 59-55, it's a four-point game, folks. And this is where you have to have someone on your team, leadership like Jordan Swarbrick, to say enough is enough. You know, we need to stop this. We need to, to stop the bleeding as we see almost another near turnover. Isaiah for three, bottom. There's your Wolverine crossing three-pointer. That's what they need, a little spark. 62-55. Isaiah and Jordan Swarbrick both with team high 21 points. Isaiah coming off that career high 26 Thursday night against Portland State. Shot missed by FIU. Swarbrick, cross court pass to wide open Hunsaker. He'll drive in, dish off Gettys, reverse, missed it. Safe from going out of bounds. FIU basketball. We're under 14 to play. Coach Isaiah Thomas up off the bench and wants to take a timeout. You know, kind of an odd flow to the game, if I, if I see it. Looks like just the Wolverines out of, out of sync here in FIU as well. We'll take it with them. Just under 14 minutes to play. Wolverine 62, FIU 55. We'll take a 60-second break here on the Wolverine Sports Network. I'm Destiny, and I'm a dancer. I don't practice until I get it right. I practice till I can't get it wrong. Hi, I'm Devin, and I'm a rock climber. And I never stop reaching for the top. I'm Kyle. 
I play the guitar. I love playing the guitar because it's tough. But I don't do drugs. And I don't drink alcohol. I don't have to. 87% of Utah County teens don't use tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs. 70% of them never even tried. So play hard, play clean, live a drug-free life. Sixty-two fifty-five Wolverines lead it. Just under 14 minutes to play back here at the UCCU Center. I'm Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. Wolverines led at halftime by 13 points, but FIU has chipped away here in the second half. We missed that one and the Wolverines come away with it. Wolverines make a defensive change there. The whole game they've been playing zone. That possession they go to a man defense. Still Alex Legion able to get an open three-point shot. Swarbrick with it. Goes over to Baker, who's in the game now for UVU. Holton Hunsaker. Tough man to man. It's Holton. Ten seconds to shoot. Isaiah's got it. Gives it over to Baker. Out to Hunsaker. Wide open Swarbrick. He'll jump at three. No good. Florida International with the rebound. Coming up on 13 minutes left in this one. Driving in. Shot good. If it can't, if it, if they count it, yeah, they will. And one. Foul going to go against Holton Hunsaker. And then we've got another timeout on the floor. We're going to take this one with them as well. 13.06 to play. Don't go away. We've got a basketball game on our hands. 62-57 Wolverines out in front here on the Wolverine Sports Network. T-shirt so you can impress the ladies, $25. iPod Nano, $120. A degree from UVU so you can afford your own car someday. Prices. For everything else, there's student loans. We'll see here uh, off of the missed three-point shot from Jordan Swarbrick. Phil Gary gets the rebound and takes it coast to coast there. Nice job of being aggressive for him off of the missed shot. You know, FIU came out of the second half here, Jim. They've shown a lot of energy, a lot of emotion, fought their way back in. You know, as I said at the, the, the second half, the beginning of it, the Wolverines are always going to have their defense. We haven't even played seven minutes. FIU has put up just uh, has put up 20 points. So Wolverines have to do a better job of assuring up their defense here in the second half. 62-57 at the free throw line. Phil Gary gets that one to go, and it's 62-58. Well, we told you in that first half, Wolverines shot 67%. So far, second half, three of 10 shootings for 30%. Meanwhile, Florida International in that first half, 43%. Now they're, at, or they're shooting 61% in the second half. Huge difference. Williams has it. Ten seconds to shoot. Over to Hunsaker. He'll launch a long three. Bottom. Bolton Hunsaker's first Wolverine crossing three-pointer of the night. Wolverine's out now. 65-58. Seven-point lead. Going back the other way for three. No good from Legion. Rebound comes down to the Wolverines. You know, that's exactly what you want to see defensively. A fourth shot there from Alex Legion. Great defense early in the shot clock. So Wolverines, that, that's, that could be very helpful for them if they can get those quick shots. Lob inside oh. to Baker. What a pass from Jordan Swarbrick. That may be the assist of the season thus far. I don't know how you lob it over that many players and drop it right in the breadbasket. 
Justin Baker. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. On that play, you give Justin a lot of credit, too. The pass was great from Jordan, but Justin did an unbelievable job in sealing his man and giving him so much room on the backside for the pass to come in. Phil Gary gets the jumper off the glass. 67-60. Seven-point lead for the Wolverines with about 11 and a half minutes left in this game. Simulcast tonight. Isaiah reverse layup on the drive. No good. Missed that one. Isaiah 7 of 13 shooting tonight. Almost out of control coming down the other way as Gary runs over Hunsaker. Foul's going to go against Wolverines' Justin Baker. And we've got another media timeout on the floor. With 11.22 to play, Wolverines lead at 67-60. We'll take a break. You're watching and listening to Utah Valley Basketball on the Wolverine Sports Network. Valley University. Your life, your beat, your university. Let's see here, uh, offensive, well, excuse me, a defensive foul call that looked like on Justin Baker previously before this shot was put up. I believe that's who they called the foul on, but nonetheless, a nice job of pushing the ball in transition. Phil Gary there. Uh, Holton has done a very good job, I think, being aware from the point guard position of looking to take charges on players that are coming down the lane. He's done a nice job of doing that uh, this game. Florida International Basketball. Wolverines lead by seven. 11 minutes and 15 seconds to play in this basketball game. Frederick has it. Jumper for three, though. Right side is good. Florida International coming back. Dewan, or excuse me, that one was Cameron Bell. You know, once again, we saw a play a little bit earlier in the game where Justin Baker had a hard time getting out to the corner. FIU got the ball into Frederick at the high post. He simply turned and looked to the space player there in the corner for the wide open three. Wolverines have to know where the shooters are. Hunsaker for three, rims out, no good. Off Florida Internationals. Frederick out of bounds. Holton Hunsaker now one of three from beyond the arc. As a team, Wolverines eight of 14. Fresh 35 to work with. Isaiah hanging in the lane. Jumper good. Isaiah with 23 points now to lead all scores in this game. You know, the Wolverines better start hoping, start hoping on offense that they get those out-of-bounds plays because I think they're 4-for-4 four four in this game on scoring on out-of-bounds plays. They've done a great job of capitalizing there. 10 minutes, 20 seconds left. Frederick backing in against Gettys Robinson. Double team, kicks it out. Jumper. Phil Gary, no good. Ball on the floor. Swarbrick keeps it alive. He's on the breakaway. Slapped out of his hands, out of bounds. Wolverine basketball. If you're joining us late, Jordan Swarbrick had 20 points in that first half. He's added a free throw here in the second half for a total of 21. Nice defensive hustle there from Gary to get back, strip the ball away. Once again, another shot off of an inbound play. Put back up and in on the miss by Justin Baker. Wolverines on a little 4-0 spurt right now. The lead at 71-63. We're under 10 minutes to play. I jinxed him on scoring on the out-of-bounds <laughs> plays there. I knew it was going to happen. Uh, we don't believe in jinxes, do we? Knock on wood. Jumper oh left side. Good for three. Cameron Bell. Good gravy. This team just is 
not scared of putting up the three pointers. That is their 23rd attempt at a three tonight. They are 11 of 23. You know, 71 66. Sorry, once again, Eric Frederick gets the ball at the high post. He can just turn and survey the, the court and make that, uh, that pass out to the wing. They will not give Hunsaker the basket, but they will call Phil Gary for the foul. Wow. Yeah, that looks like that. That's definitely a basket that should be counting. Uh, the official ca called the foul just as Holden was, was making his move off of the ground. So definitely a basket that should have been counted there. It remains 71-66. Five-point Wolverine lead with 9.26 to play. Isaiah for three. No. Geddes Robinson, rebound. Hunsaker for three. Got him! Holton Hunsaker nails the Wolverine crossing three-pointer. 74-66, Wolverines back up front by eight. You can give all the credit in the world there to Geddes Robinson. Great athletic play to get that offensive rebound off of Isaiah's missed three-point shot out to Holton. Under nine minutes now. Baseline drive. A dish, shot no good. Wolverines tip it out and control it. Hunsaker wide open for three. Missed that one. Tipped up, and Florida International comes down with it. Jermaine Russell gives over to Frederick. 8.35 to play. Driving to the hole. Frederick fouled along the way. He'll shoot. Well, we'll see if they give him two. I don't know. Justin Baker gets called for the foul. You see a nice job here of Frederick driving to the basket. You know, that's a tough call because Justin Baker has his hand straight up in the air there. I think that's a pretty tough call. If I'm the Wolverines out there on, on defense, I've got to think, you know, a couple things. First, I've got to think that we have to get out to the three-point shooters. That is, that is first and foremost, you know, FIU in the game 11 of 23. And secondly, I, I'm focusing on number 15, Eric Frederick, because you know it, it, he didn't, he doesn't lead their team, averaging 17 points a game by by coincidence. He's a, a guy who can play and who can score. So anytime he gets the ball, I, I'm, I've got to be aware we have eight minutes left. He's going to look to be aggressive, and so we've got to work at stopping him. And, and Justin did a nice job of getting his body in front of him there. Unfortunate foul call. Frederick hits one of two. Ben Aird and Deadweiler into the game now. Swarbrick and Baker took a seat. Deadweiler with it for UVU. Tried to hit Isaiah left side, but pass was way out in front of him. You know, the Wolverines are catching a break here because we have a perfect view for that play. That ball was not tipped by an FIU player. See if the Wolverines can convert here, but you know, they definitely caught a break. That ball, unfortunately, wasn't tipped. Williams has it. Left wing. Feeds aired. Back to Isaiah. Jumper for three. Back rim no good. Rebound Florida International. Wolverines lead it. 74-67. Wide open inside. My goodness. The one right. Nobody around. It's just a five-point game. Under eight minutes to play. 74-69, Wolverines. Hunsaker drives in and is bumped hard that time by Tremaine Russell. That'll bring us to another media timeout. 7.39 to play, 74-69, Wolverines by five. We'll take a 60-second break here. Station, you're listening and watching exclusive coverage of Utah Valley University basketball on the Wolverines Sports Network. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician, a mechanic, or a scientist? Did you dream about helping others and achieving great things? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success where ideas flow and dreams are realized. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. A place where your professors know you by name and are devoted to your development. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. 
see a nice move there from Holden Hunsaker to shake his defender, Tremaine Russell there. Nice job of taking a straight, strong angle to the rim and a foul there. You know, any, any defense that you can do that to, you, you obviously want to take advantage. And I think with Holton and with Isaiah Williams and Wolverines in the last eight minutes here, will definitely have the ability to get to the basket and stay aggressive as a key. 74-69, Wolverines by five with 7.39 to play. A reminder about Wolverine Crossing, it is student living redefined. For student housing information, you can text Wolverine to 47464. You know, Jim, we're gonna have an out of bounds play here. Uh, I've talked about how the Wolverines have been very successful. Watch for the screening here to see if the Wolverines can get some good screen set. Inside it goes to Big Ben, out top. Swarbrick, left side, Hunsaker. Back to Swarbrick, fake the shot, gives it over to Holton. He'll jump a three. Good. Holton Hunsaker with yet another Wolverine crossing three pointer. That's the tenth one of the night for UVU. Hunsaker, three of seven. 77 69. Wolverines out in front by eight with seven minutes and eight seconds to play. Here's a three the other way from Florida International. It's raining threes, folks, at the UCCU Center. See, and that's that's a mistake that you have to think is inexcusable because you have to know you're, you're in the zone. If you're going to give up any shot, it's going to be a three. So you have to get out to the three-point shooters. They've proven tonight that they can make it from anywhere. Holton drives in and lays this one up and in on a little floater. 79-72. Hunsaker with 16 points tonight. Wolverines by seven, coming up on six and a half minutes to play. Oh. International working inside. Oh my goodness! That time, Dewan Wright fouled on his way up. Basket will count. Drew the foul from Ben Ben Aired. Yeah, I thought for a second they were going to call it on Gettys. Watch Wilder takes a seat. Williams watch, watch this play here. Watch Ben Aired slap at the last minute with his. I believe it's going to be with his left hand here. He's going to slap down. Doesn't need to do that. He has such a height advantage there that all he needs to do is go straight up in the air. Had some help coming from the back for Gettys Robinson. You know, that's just one of those plays where you're trying to make a play, try and strip the ball when you don't need to. You can just be straight up in the air. Free throws miss, so it remains a five-point UVU lead. 79-74, 6.20 to play, driving in, shot blocked. Bodies crash to the floor. Foul called. Going to go against Florida International's Cameron Bell. You know, I think it's been about four of the last five plays here as we see Isaiah taking it strong to the rim. That Holton Hunsaker or Isaiah Williams and even Jordan Swarbrick has broken down the perimeter defense for FIU. And as I said a couple minutes ago, if you can do that, you're going to cause problems for any defense. So I see no reason for the Wolverines to stop getting the ball in Holton's hands or in Isaiah's hands and just saying, hey, break down the defense and, and make a play because that was so successful in the first half. He makes the front end of two so far, 80 to 74. Second one on its way, also good. 81 74. Isaiah now with 25 points, one off a career high, which he set Thursday night at Portland State. Driving to the hole, shot no good. Ball on the floor, picked up by Swarbrick. Six minutes left in this game. Wolverines nursing a seven point lead. Floater, no good on the jumper. And Florida International comes away with it. Isaiah missed that one. Gary has it, driving in. Whistle before he gets that shot off. Gonna go against the Wolverines. You know, I will say one thing here. Looks like the foul was on Jordan Swarbrick. So we'll see a nice nice drive there from uh, from Phil Gary. Jordan kind of gets the foul there. I will say the one thing about the last possession there from the Wolverines, I think that Isaiah took that shot too soon. I think he took the shot. There was maybe maybe 30 seconds left on the shot clock. I think if anything, they, they can take a little bit more time off the clock with the, with the, you know, with five minutes left in the game, take a little bit more time off the clock, get maybe a better shot if possible than that, than that one. But it's, it's hard to tell your players not to be aggressive there too. First charity toss is good. 81-75, six point Wolverine lead, 5.45 to play. Wolverines had led this one by as many as 18 points. Second one also good. Back down to a five-point lead. There's that full-court pressure we're talking about. 
And this is where Jordan can be such an asset because he's a great ball handler. He can bring the ball up the court, as you see here. And Aird will take the jumper. No good. Florida International with the basketball. Once again, another quick shot. I'm sure that's not the, sh the shot Coach Sunsaker wanted. Want to work the clock a little bit. Ben Aird with, you know, although he has the ability to make that, you want to take some more time off the clock. Gary drives, fouled along the way. Ben Aird will pick up that foul. Phil Gary will shoot two. For Aird, his third, team's eighth. Clock stop 5-16 to play. First one is good. You know, for the, the offense that we've been talking about, the Wolverines, Isaiah and Holton and Jordan being able to break down the defense, you know, in the last three or four minutes here, that's exactly what's hurt the Wolverines on, on the defensive end, is Phil Gary has done a great job of penetration, getting into the lane and, and getting to the free throw line as he did there. So, you know, both teams, it seems like who's going to make the stop on the defensive end? Got them both, 81-78. It's just a three-point game, and the Wolverines have to call a timeout. Having some trouble in the backcourt. Five minutes, 12 seconds to play in this game. Wolverines' lead is just three. Will give us a chance to tell you about Adidas, who is now the official outfitter of UVU Athletics. To check out Adidas Apparel, go to adidas.com. If you joined us late, Wolverines trailed 12 to 9. Then they jumped out in front, a couple three-pointers, pushed that lead to as many as 16 in the first half. They led at halftime 50 to 37, a 13-point lead. They scored the first five points of the second half and led by 18. It was 55-37. But FIU has just kept chipping away. They went on a 13-2 run to draw within seven. And right now they're down by just three at 81-78. Last time these two played, back in November 20th, it was 65-62. We have long ago passed that score. Wolverine basketball. Swarbrick brings it up court. Five minutes left in this one. Wolverines nursing a three-point lead. There have been 23 pointers in this game tonight that have gone down. Swarbrick drives in, fouled on his way. Jordan Swarbrick got some leaping ability. They list him at six foot seven. That foul going to be called against Dominique Ferguson, his third, team's eighth. But Swarbrick at the line. Swarbrick now with 21 points. He had 20 in the first half. Very quiet second half. Yeah, and, and he's done a good job here uh, in, in the second half as he misses the free throw there of driving with his right hand to the rim. That's probably the fourth time that we've seen him either come off of a screen or just be aggressive on his own. So he's going to need to continue to do that. Each, each foul for both teams going down the stretch here is going to result in free throws. So whichever team can make free throws, stay aggressive, I think has a, a pretty good upper hand here. He makes the back end of two, 82-78. He's missed two tonight. I don't think he had he missed two all season coming in here. Well, he missed three all season coming in here out of 30. 82-78 with four and a half to play. Wolverines up. Florida International. Five and six overall, looking for their first road win, though. Three-point attempt, no good. Alex Legion hit the deck after he took the shot, looking to the foul, did not get it. Yeah, great defense there from Geddes Robinson. You know, that's, uh, that's I believe, the 11th three-point attempt there for Alex Legion. You know, you got to, Geddes did a nice job of getting vertical shot pressure, didn't, didn't put his hand at an angle for, to give the official a chance at a foul. Nice job of forcing that, that shot there. Legion, 5 of 11. Holton Hunsaker with the basketball for UVU. They lead it by four, coming up on four minutes to play. Isaiah's got it on the left side. Feeds down low to Geddes Robinson. Out to Holton. He'll jump a three. No good. Ball on the floor. 
picked up by Gettys Robinson. Gettys Robinson, by the way, just two points away from a double-double. He's already got 10 rebounds, eight points. Wolverines got a fresh 35-second shot clock to work with, 3.40 to play. Wolverines lead it 82-78. Swarbrick to Hunsaker. Inside feed, Gettys. Little running hook, good. 84-78, there's your double-double, 10 points, 10 rebounds for the transfer out of the Bronx, New York. Great move there, didn't force anything, took his time, wonderful move there from Gettys. Driving down, shot off the glass, good from right. 84-80, Wolverines lead is four with three minutes to play. On the offensive end for FIU, they're turning to these isolation plays where it looks like they're trying to isolate certain players on the elbow and letting them make a move from there. And Wolverines got to be aware and, and force their man to the middle. Swarbrick with the ball in his hands, 2.45 to play. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Hunsaker starts to drive in. Foul from behind, I believe, by Phil Gary. Yeah, reaching in. Clock stop, 2.37 to play. His third. That brings us to another media timeout. We'll take it with him, 2.37 to play. Wolverines by four. We'll be back in 60 seconds here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Four, a reminder, the UVU Alumni Association is proud to sponsor the player of the game tonight. Support UVU scholarships by ordering a UVU license plate online at uvualumni.org slash UVU plate. I'm Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. It's been a heck of a college basketball game here, Matthew. Yeah, it has, and it's, you know, two and a half minutes left, four-point game going to be some pressure moments coming up here. So here's what I'll look forward to, Jim, here. Obviously, we just mentioned free throws. Free throws are going to be critical. Whichever team can get to the line and convert on those free throws is going to have the advantage. Also, as far as defense for the Wolverines go, let's see if coming back here, if FIU runs another one of those isolation plays. And it's going to come, on, it's going to come down to that defense that the Wolverines can play if they're going to run those isolation plays and if they're in a man-to-man -man defense. Holton Hunsager makes the front end of a one and one. He's got 20 points tonight. His career high, 23, coming against Sacramento State earlier this season. Now he's got 21. Isaiah Williams just one point off from tying a career high, but most important, Wolverines lead by six with 2.28 to play. FIU basketball inside, shot partially blocked by Gettys. Wolverines come away with it. Great defense there. Holton's man had cut through underneath Eric Frederick, and Holton realized that the ball was going to go back into him, kind of came over and forced a, an awkward shot there from Eric Frederick. Great defense there. Isaiah up top to Swarbrick. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Two minutes on this game clock. Wolverines by six. Hunsaker, long jumper outside. Front rim, no good. Back up, no from Baker, but he's fouled. He'll shoot two. Justin Baker hasn't seen a lot of action tonight. He does have four rebounds, four points, but he'll be at the line. First time tonight for Justin. 
at the stripe. Wolverines overall, nine, excuse me, overall 12 of 14 at last report. Baker makes the first one. And a very timely offensive rebound, and, and he was in great position there. That wasn't the best shot. It looked like Colton was a little bit off balance on the three. Barely drew iron. Fortunately, the FIU player was not able to come up with the rebound, and, and Justin was right on the spot. Critical time here in the game for the Wolverines to get a stop. Four straight free throws for the Wolverines give them an eight-point lead with a minute 42 left. Driving in, Gary, shot, good. Got that one to go. 88-82, it's a six-point Wolverine lead. Hunsaker in the backcourt fouled by Phil Gary. Clock stopped with a minute 32 to play. Now you're seeing the maturation of a young true freshman. Just got off his mission uh, over the summer in Holton Hunsaker. Against Cincinnati, in that same situation, Holton stopped numerous times. This time, draws the foul because he did not stop. Right, and, and the situation that we're in, Wolverines are up by six. You don't want to get yourself stuck or caught in the backcourt because what that means is it's going to be an opportunity for maybe a double team or maybe some type of a trap from FIU. So if you get the ball, and, and you, in the backcourt, you want to look to advance the basketball, be strong with it because you're going to be shooting free throws. So uh, as we see Holton make the second free throw here, one thing I will say is if FIU can score here, the role of the inbounder here, I know Coach Hunsaker would always talk about that, how important it is for the inbounder to take care of the ball and not turn it over and not force anything. Wolverines by eight with a minute 20 to play. Three-point attempt, Florida International, no. Rebound, tipped up, and comes down to Holton Hunsaker. Not much pressure in the backcourt, really. Hunsaker will get it across the time stripe, no problem. Coming up on a minute left. Wolverines by eight. Isaiah had the ball go right through his hands on a simple pass. Turnover. Wolverines with eight turnovers. And Geddes Robinson called for the foul as Frederick going for the hole. We're under a minute to play. Wolverines by eight. But Eric Frederick is going to be at the free throw line. Six foot eight junior from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. You see a nice move there by Eric Frederick. A tough, tough defense there from Geddes Robinson. Just kind of got caught there with his arms coming forward just a little bit. You'll see some substitutions being made in here for the Wolverines, trying to get their best ball handlers in the game for that pressure because you, you never know. FIU might be looking to trap here. They're going to look to put extra pressure on the Wolverines. So uh, before that turnover on the last possession by Isaiah, I was going to mention that you definitely have to take care of the basketball. You'll hear Coach Hunsaker yelling over there, catches, catches, because you want to make sure that you catch the basketball and use up the time that's that's allotted to you. FIU is going to be coming, trying to, trying to strip the ball away. Just have to make sure you, you take care of the basketball. Frederick makes the front end of a one and one, so he'll get another. He's got eight points tonight. Alex Legion, 17 points to lead the scoring attack for Florida International. 90 to 83, second free throw missed. Ball comes down to the Wolverines. Isaiah's got it in his hands. We're at 48 seconds. Ahead to Deadweiler, layup, no, but he's fouled from behind. 45.9 to play. It's 90 to 83, Wolverines by seven. Florida International had drawn to within three at 81-78. Since then, the Wolverines have pushed it out. Outscored of nine to five. Deadweiler free throw, good. 91-83. By the way, 93 points is the highest point total of the season for Utah Valley, coming against La Sierra in the fourth game of the season. They're at 91 right now. I'm sure none of that matters to them. They just want to get out of here with a W. Yeah, you, you want to focus here on getting you know, defensive rebounds, no silly fouls if you're the Wolverines, and grab and hold on to that basketball with everything you have. Deadweiler missed the second three-point attempt way out front. No good, a foul inside. Ferguson had missed the three, but the whistle's going to be called against against the Wolverines inside. Yeah, I think that's going to be on Isaiah Williams. He was battling down there with Dewan Wright. Clock stop, 36.8 seconds left. Wolverines out in front, 91-83, but at the free throw line now is Dewan Wright. Shooting two, first one's good. It's a seven point Wolverine lead. 91-84. 
you, you see FIU going small here. They've got all guards in there for one reason, and that's to put the pressure on and, and to go for steals. Coach Isaiah Thomas hasn't spent much time on the bench here in the second half. He's been standing up most of the game. Second free throw also good, and immediately Coach Isaiah Thomas standing in front of us called that timeout. We'll keep this one here. 36.8 seconds to play. Wolverines lead it by six, 91-85 is the score. This has been a very entertaining, from a, a fan standpoint, basketball game. I'll, I'll bet you the coaches are just uh, pulling their hair out, though. Wolverines led at halftime by 13. Pushed it out in the second half by as many as 18. Only to see Florida International come chipping their way back to draw to within three at 81-78. A lot of free throw shooting since then has the Wolverines out in front 91-85. Right now from the free throw line, well, they're showing us nine of 10 for the Wolverines. That's not right because Swarbrick has missed two himself. We'll wait for the official stats. Wolverine basketball, 36.8 seconds left. Inbounds play to Isaiah. He pushes it up court. He may go all the way. No, he's just going to burn some clock. Good dribbling by Isaiah. Goes to the baseline, kicks it out to Swarbrick, but a foul called as Isaiah was burning some clock. Stops it with 29.3. Great play there from Isaiah. You, you know, I'll, I'll give a football reference here. I don't know if you saw it not too long ago, but the Eagles-Giants game when uh, Deshaun Jackson ran the ball back uh, at the end of the, the last play of the game. He kind of ran along the, the end zone line there to run some time. That's what it reminded me of right there. You know, a heady play could have gone up for a free throw, but obviously running clock was more important there. So great heads up awareness there from Isaiah. Free throw from Isaiah is good. Got 26 points. That ties a career high that he set just Thursday night at Portland State. He makes this. It's back-to-back -back career nights for Isaiah Williams. On its way, <laughs> no good. Jinxed him. So, sorry, 92-85, <laughs> seven point Wolverine lead. FIU basketball, long jumper, Legion outside for three, no good. Foul on the rebound inside, gonna go against Utah Valley. Holton Hunsaker picks up the foul. Clock stop, 19 seconds to play. Well, they missed the three, but we keep giving them free throws. Yeah, you got to have on these types of possessions when you're going to get these long three point attempts, you're going to have long rebounds. So you have to have every everybody on your team going in, crashing the glass, trying to get those rebounds. And unfortunately, the last two fouls being called on the, the guards here for the Wolverines. 92 86 as Cameron Bell makes the first of two. Just 19 seconds left in this game. Second free throw, good. 92-87. It's a five-point Wolverine lead. Timeout called by Coach Isaiah Thomas of the Florida International University Golden Panthers. Isaiah in his second season with the Panthers. 12 and 31 overall. Spent some time coaching the Indiana Pacers and the New York Knicks. After a phenomenal career as point guard both at University of Indiana and then with the Detroit Pistons. 92-87. Haven't seen the official stats updated in a while. Unofficially Isaiah at 26. Swarbrick at 21. Holton Hunsager at 14. And I think some of those are low. Yeah, Hunsager's got 19. Isaiah's got 26, Swarbrick with 22. Swarbrick had 20 in the first half. 19 seconds to play, it's 92-87. Wolverines lead by five, they have the basketball. Swarbrick looking for help, has to call a timeout, couldn't find anybody open. Whoa, just as he called the timeout, one official comes over and says no. A foul against Florida International, holding Holton Hunsaker was Phil Gary. <laughs> His fifth, he's gone. <laughs> Phil Gary unofficially fouls out with 15 points in this game. 
senior guard out of Chicago. So we're still at 19 seconds. No time burned off the clock. And it remains 92-87. Five point lead, but Holton Hensek will be at the free throw line. The official, official stats have frozen up on us, so we'll just have to update you at, in our post game show as to who did what here. Hensegger makes the free throw, 93-87. The voice you hear, Isaiah Thomas. Second free throw also good from Holton Hensegger. It's 94-87. 15 seconds left. Wolverines by seven, driving to the hole. They let him go just to burn some clock. That was Alex Legion. And immediately Florida International calls a timeout. We'll keep it here as well. 94-89, back to a five-point lead. Well, you didn't, you didn't want to stop the clock, I guess, and let him have free throws, but you gave him two points pretty easily on the Matador play. Yeah. Yeah, the, I think the only thing that will hurt the Wolverines here is if they get some sort of a turnover because they they can get the ball into the hands of their best free throw shooter, whether that's Holton or whether it's it's Schwarbrick. But I, I think Jordan Schwarbrick's done an excellent job of taking the basketball out here. Uh, FIU will look to foul as soon as they can here. Got to be aware of that also. Ninety four eighty nine Wolverines lead is five. They lost by three to Florida International five and a half weeks ago in Miami. Here at home, they got a five-point lead with 12.7 seconds left to play. Wolverines will inbound it. Swarbrick will trigger. Baker, Deadweiler, Williams, and Hunsaker on the floor, along with Jordan Swarbrick. Looking for somebody to break open. Swarbrick couldn't find anybody, forced to call yet another timeout. Great defense there from FIU, not allowing the ball to get in bounds, and good awareness there from Jordan to get the timeout. So it's still 12.7 seconds to play. A little chess game going on now, huh? You know, I've noticed a lot of, at these end of situation games, you have to have good screens. I haven't seen the Wolverines running many of their plays here to get someone screened to spring them open. Maybe they'll look to do that here, but. You know, you kind of just uh, give your, your inbounder the ball and you let your players that are the guards make a play to get open to get the ball and, and get to the free throw line. 94-89, Wolverines by five. Wolverines looking to rebound after losing at Portland State on Thursday night. So we'll try it one more time. Swarbrick will inbounds. We'll get it into Hunsaker and back to Swarbrick, who's fouled immediately. Didn't really get it into Hunsaker, got it over to Hunsaker. Sorry. Right. Yeah, that was a pretty, well, I wouldn't say risky, but I don't know if I've ever seen that play from, uh, from Coach Hunsaker before, but it obviously worked. And FIU wasn't expecting it. Or Swarbrick already standing out of bounds just throws it to a teammate who comes out of bounds and then throws it right back to him. Yeah, they can do that because they, if I, you put nobody guarding Jordan Swarbrick, so made that adjustment. Coach Dick Hunsaker, one of the best at what he does. 94-89, Wolverines by five. Swarbrick free throw, good. 95-87. Excuse me, 95-89. Wolverines by six. Everything's frozen up on us. We'll just go off the scoreboard above us. Second free throw, Swarbrick, no good. He's missed more tonight than he has all season. Under 10 seconds to play. Legion with it. Over to for the three. That one is good from Frederick. Wolverines inbounds it with 2.3 to play. It's a three-point lead for the Wolverines. They have to get this ball in bounds, and Coach Dick Hunsaker knows it. He calls a timeout. 95-92. A three-point lead for the Wolverines. Wolverines have not trailed. Again, if you joined us late, since it was 12-9. to 
They tied it at 12 on a three-pointer and then took off from there to lead by as many as 16 in the first half, 18 in the second half. You know, this game has been, I mean, it's only a three-point game as much as we've talked about it. The Wolverines were up by about, what, eight or nine points with a minute and 40 seconds left in the game. So you got to give it a lot of credit to FIU for fighting their way back in there. You know, obviously, the Wolverines haven't made all of their free throws that they could have, but this game still 2.3 seconds left. Three-point game if the Wolverines, you know, forbidden, you know, getting, getting a turnover here, but they've got to get this ball in bounds. Now it is official. Isaiah Williams, 26. Holton Hunsaker, 25. Jordan Swarbrick, 23. Swarbrick had 20 in the first half. For Hunsaker, career high 25. Isaiah Williams ties here's career high 26. But right now, the most important stat is a three point lead with 2.3 seconds to play. Yeah, I, I don't know our, our uh, timeout situation. I'm not sure if the Wolverines have a timeout left to call. Let's hope that they do in case they do get in a bind here. Swarbrick will trigger for the Wolverines. Long down court pass, slapped away. Florida International shot to tie it. Oh, just missed it off the glass at the buzzer. That would have sent us to overtime. That could not have been any closer, my friend. Oh, my goodness. Wolverines win it. 95-92. A shot bounces off the glass and off the rim from midcourt. And the Wolverines escape to improve to six and seven overall. Florida International falls to five and seven. Wow, what a college basketball game. There's the replay for our TV viewers at midcourt. That shot, oh, can you see it? No, you just see it bounce off the rim. It hit the glass and came down off the rim. It literally was maybe four to six inches away from going down. Wolverines win it. 95-92, we are joined now at courtside by head coach Dick Hunsaker. Coach, wow, what a college basketball game we just witnessed here at the UCCU Center. Congratulations on the victory. Your thoughts on it, sir? It was a great win. That team is very loaded with athletic kids. There's three guys playing that didn't play it the first time we played them. They have a lot of personnel and talent. I told the kids at halftime, this was like a three-point game. And it was. When you shoot astronomical percentage, we shot 66% in the first half, had a 13-point spread. They were shooting the ball well. You can see we're obviously overmatched physically. We tried to, and we did a respectful job in the zone. I, I, I know I, we obviously won the games. We ran the right defense. And uh, they made a lot of shots against it, which was not their forte. They're a 30% three-point uh, three shooting team. But there's a reasons why we do things, and uh, it all worked out. It was a great win for us. Uh, tremendous. There were some great efforts in this game tonight, and uh, a great a game that hopefully we can we can build from, get better from. Very impressive performance tonight, at least from my standpoint, from a from a, a sportscaster. Probably not from a coaching standpoint. There's no such thing as a perfect game. Swarbrick, 20 points in the first half, finishes with 23. Isaiah ties his career high 26. Holton sets a new career high with 25. Gettys chips in with a double double, 10 points, 11 rebounds. Wow, uh, it was it was a good team effort. I, I thought, from my standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, what did you see? I saw. I, I again, I'm going to go. We're 100 percent positive. This was a good win. You know, we're playing Sun Belt teams. I've been telling you over and over again. Uh, check, click on ESPN.com. See if they rank, rank the Great West, and and where we're at in the mix of things. And so, when every time we can knock off a Sun Belt team, which I believe this is our fourth or fifth win against a Sun Belt team, it's something I'm very proud of and very pleased, very happy for our basketball team. And this was a battle. This was a war. This was a game we kept going and going, moments to make mistakes. You know, we went, I think we had three consecutive, well, Holton made both of them, but other than that, we had three consecutive one for twos from the free throw line down the stretch, which you need more than that when you have a cushion because you're not, you don't want to foul them. You're just trying to keep them at bay the best you can. And, uh, you know, all I know is I'm happy we pulled out a victory. It was a great win. Thank Congratulations, you. Coach. Thank you. Coach Dick Hunsaker. Sees his uh, Wolverines improve to six and seven overall. Meanwhile, Coach Isaiah Thomas sees his Golden Panthers fall to five and seven. Tell you what, we're going to take a break here. This will just be a 60-second break station. It's a one-minute break. 
And uh, Matt and I will come back. We'll wrap up the stats from this one. We'll also choose the UVU Alumni Association Player of the Game. Wolverines win it. Final score, 95-92. We'll be back right here on the Wolverine Sports Network. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League Sports Passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! win this one 95 92 here at the UCCU Center. I'm Jim McCall along with Matt Peterson. Let me go over the individual scoring for you uh, in, in this game and I'm going to let Matt choose the UVU Alumni Association player of the game. Isaiah Williams ties a career high 26 points. That's back to back 26 points performances from Isaiah. 26 Thursday night against Portland State. 26 tonight here at home against Florida International. He had three assists to go along with those 26 points. Holton Hunsaker, career high 25 points, seven assists in his 38 minutes tonight. Jordan Schwarbrick, 20 points at halftime, finishes with just 23. You say just 23, yeah, but he carried the team in the first half. 23 points, seven rebounds, four assists, two block shots in his 37 minutes. Gettys Robinson, a double double. 10 points, 11 rebounds, two assists, one block shot. Ben Aird played 27 minutes, had 10 big rebounds, four points to show for his uh, effort tonight, along with two assists and three block shots. Sean Deadweiler played 10 minutes, had one point and one rebound, and Justin Baker played 20 minutes, finished with six points, three rebounds. That's how the Wolverines got their 95 points on 53% shooting. First half, they shot 67%, second half, 39% shooting. From the floor, 31 of 58. From the three-point range, 10 of 22 were the Wolverines. And from the free throw line, 23 of 28. Scoring uh, for Florida International, we'll just quickly tell you who led the scoring. Alex Legion with 22. Dewan Wright with 18. Phil Gary, 17. They had five players with double figures. Cameron Bell, 11. And Eric Frederick with 11. All right, Matt Peterson, both analysis and uh, who you think should be the UVU Alumni Association player of the game. Well, I think tonight in this game, we saw a lot of really good things from the Wolverines. I think at times we saw some good defensive things. Uh, for most of the game, we saw some really good offensive, offensive performances. So I, I think the Wolverines have a lot to build on. W when you get those players, three players who can score 23 or more points, I mean, you're going to be tough to beat. And I think that's a great sign for the Wolverines. And a lot of credit goes to Geddes Robinson as well with the double-double, 10 points, 11 rebounds. Um, obviously, the, the performances that we've been talking about from Isaiah, uh, he's played great, and, and Holton did a, did a great job tonight. So We can split it. Yeah, hey, I think we should. I mean, we need to figure out something else where it's not just us deciding, you know, whether it's people texting or something we got <laughs> oh, we, no 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 we, no we got to get a better a better uh, a better system going here so you know i i don't know if we can split it three ways because that's kind of what i would prefer but well I, then let's do it okay well we'll say jordan swarbrick uh, isaiah thomas and holton hunsaker because i think they you know all across the board jordan had a great game isaiah provided timely scoring and, and holton as well so are we going to get in trouble for not picking one player no or? just you not me oh okay well i can i can take it so <laughs> you know it, you know no. I think I think they all played really well, and, and it would be unfair to single just one of them out in tonight's game. I really do think that. So, you know, those those players deserve a lot of credit for tonight's game. All right, there you go. Three guys winning uh, UVU Alumni Association Player of the Game. Wolverines, as we said, improved to 6-7. and seven. They're back in action on Friday, New Year's Day, up in Chicago. They'll be taking on Northern Illinois University. That's a 12 o'clock tip mountain time. A, uh, what is that, 1 o'clock in Chicago time? They're just an hour in front of us, and then the Wolverines will return home. Uh, that weekend next home game will actually come up on Tuesday night uh, hosting Haskell both those games will not be televised but they will be live on the radio at K-Star 1400 where you heard this game tonight 
Any final thoughts before we get out of here, Matt? You know, I think, like I said, there's a lot of things that they can take from this game. I think this is a much better performance than what they had as we talked about at Portland State. So they've got to continue to keep getting better. Uh, I think that their offense is, it showed signs of really, really brilliance tonight. So uh, I think they have a lot of things to build on. It's still a long season. They've got a long way to go, but uh, really positive things going for them. Our thanks to everybody in, involved in making this broadcast possible. Richard did a great job at K-Star, and, of course, Ryan Johnson on a very uh, short staff crew tonight, except for the guy standing in front of me. Ryan, you did a great job producing this game with uh, most of the students on uh, Christmas leave. Congratulations, young man. We appreciate it. All right, Matt, for Matt Peterson, I'm Jim McCulley saying so long from the UCCU Center. Wolverines win it 95-92. So long, everybody. <laughs>